Hi, everybody. I am calling in from Alaska. And I wanted to talk about an idea that comes from natural science, which is called HGT, which means horizontal genetic transference. We think of genes as something that moves downwards, grandparents, parents, children, that you give the next generation the best of what you have. And that's how the next generation survives and evolves. And that's what all evolution is. It's everybody just giving the best to the next generation. So this new idea called HGT really specifies on the horizontal idea that it's not just linear, but it's also going, it's happening on a horizontal level. That means people around you who have the DNA that can help you, you can start transferring that with them. Species, cross species, this can work with trees, plants, animals, things that are in your environment that have learned specific ways of surviving actually through being with them enough, starts changing and evolving your own DNA. Really cool. Doesn't work if you're traveling all the time, but if you're in one place for your entire life, you will start adopting and adapting the, your environment's best and giving that to your children, not just your best. So when I think of this in an energetic sense, I think of the idea that we are all the sum of the five people that we hang out with the most. We have the same belief systems, narratives, probably eating habits, sleeping habits. Even if you think you're different than your core five, you're not that different when you zoom out. If you ever want to test this theory out, just like go to a city, watch the groups of friends walking through the streets. And it's kind of like watching Spice Girls, like there's Baby Spice and Spicy Spice or whatever their names are, but they're all, they're all Spice Girls. It's the same thing with groups of friends. You'll see that there's something similar happening. There's a similar energy coming from them. You can tell that they're meant to be together, these groups of friends. So think about yourself in your group of friends, in your core values, and then also extend that a little bit. And I want you to think of times or people who have beliefs that are opposite or inverse of yours. So think of people in your life, and it doesn't even have to be somebody that you know well, but they flow where you're stuck. So somebody who's amazing at business and who's just so suave, knows what they're doing, is level-headed, all the things that you need that you don't have when it comes to business. Think about love. If there's a person in your life who just is so good at connection and communication and relationships, and you might feel stuck in them, just go ahead and think, what are their beliefs that they have in those areas? And there's a scene in... Um, there's this one scene in a movie I remember where one friend was having a really hard time and the other friend literally just rubbed her body and she's like, here, take some of my awesome. And that's actually true. You can do that. Feeling into where in your friends' lives or where in your associates' lives that they flow where you're stuck and starting to write out their belief system and meditating on that. And that will start, that will have an HBT transformative process on your own belief system. If for a moment you just extend yourself to them. So I want to put this even a step further and talk about your own internal HBT ability. So you can think of your life almost like a wheel. There's family, there's work, there's health, there's diet, there's sleep, there's um, behavior, fun, play. You have all these different areas in your life. Which area do you have the most flow in? So for example, I have the most flow in travel. I love the way I travel. Things go right, things go wrong, but I'm always open. I'm always having fun. I'm always adventuring. And even when it's not fun, it's a story. I love it. It gives me so much life. And then think of an area that you have the most stuckness. You might notice you're two totally different people. You have completely different sets of belief systems and you're one person. But in each area in your life, you're holding a completely different chemistry compound. So for a moment, let's just take for me for traveling. When I'm hitchhiking and a car passes by me and doesn't pick me up, I don't go into stories of I'm always rejected, I'm worthless, I'm never going to make it, blah, 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 blah. But maybe in an area of my life that I feel stuck in and I get rejected, that's exactly where I go to. So my challenge to you guys is to write down exactly where you get stuck. So what area in your life are you most stuck in? What are your belief stories there? And then I want you to think in which area in your life do you have the most flow in where things are just easy for you? And what are your belief systems there? Okay, 
feel into both of those flavors, how different they are. And what I want you to do is you start feeling into the flavor in which you have the most flow in and then start welcoming or inviting where you feel stuck in and kind of have those two pieces of you start meeting each other, start interacting, start looking at each other from across the room. You can do this in a meditation as well. Like literally just imagine these two parts of you looking, interacting, beginning to have a dialogue and notice just as they're connecting and moving and interacting with one another, they're gonna start integrating. They're gonna have an HBT moment. They're gonna have a horizontal belief transference, which means the highest belief systems, the best and highest belief systems for your continuation will be the thing that's adopted and adapted because there might be things in your stuck place that might be serving you that might actually help your flow even more, but it will mostly be your flow starting to really heal, integrate, and expand that part of you that's stuck. So I'm really excited. Um, I'm really excited to try it on myself. I'm really excited for you guys to try this too. And I'm looking forward to hearing everybody's feedback. And that's what I have to say in this week's weekly wisdom.